Welcome back to another video. Today we are out on the Mexico map early access for content creators thanks to Expansive Worlds. You get to check out this map early and it is such a good looking map. So many animals, just animals everywhere as you can see. That actually looks like a melanistic mule deer doe right there. And I just love this map so far. I've covered it very well. As you can see I have it already fully unlocked and have hotspot maps already made you can see there's so much game on this map there's rabbits turkeys coyotes there's actually a level 8 coyote out here and to start off there is nine species on this map we're gonna have to take out that coyote before he gets too far away that should have got him and we can try and get that melanistic doe when she turns she's stuck on a cactus that should have got her yep it got her and that coyote is not going down so we'll just take him out with 30 odd six but such a good looking map nine total species and I forget how many are repeats, but a lot of the repeats are really good species, in my opinion. There's the mule deer and whitetail, which is so cool to have both on the same map. Grind for both, and there's a ton of all the species. None of the species are lacking in population at all on this map. They're just spread out everywhere. Every single lake on this map has animals at it. It's just amazing the ultimate beginner map here is our melanistic first melanistic on the new map just awesome looking map just so many different biomes and I'll pop up every species that is on this map on the screen because it's hard for me to remember all of them. There's nine total, and you can see the coyotes actually got a new remodel. They're a lot fluffier. And same with whitetail. The whitetail got new tails. Their tails are really fluffy now, and they bounce around when they run. So that's cool. And the bighorns also got retextured, and just those extra small details to the old species are really cool in my opinion so this map comes with a new shotgun it's a 16 gauge pump action with five shells it's a really cool looking gun and pretty useful for pheasants if you hunt those those are really fun to hunt and I'm in one of my favorite areas for them now see if we can find some but there's also five new multi mounts that we will look at later after we find a pheasant or two to shoot and we'll go check out those multi mounts and give my opinions on this map see we got a bunch of turkeys Rio Grande turkeys flying off don't see any big ones and there's a pheasant call right there you can see them running the pheasants will actually go alert Let's see if there's any roosters in there with them I don't see any but they will take off and run to cover and there was a Tom which would have had a shotgun ready I think I have a shotgun yeah we have a shotgun right here but the pheasants will actually run to cover and then hunker down they won't just stay out in the open and they'll just run straight to some bushes and then they'll hunker down and then you walk up to the bush and then whistle and they will flush out or you can just walk right up and step on them basically and you only get a score if you shoot them out of the air I'm just using the 10 gauge at the moment see if we can find where they're hunkered down there they are right there running and it looks like they're taking off now. 
or just miss apparently drop a few oh there's the rooster and that will bring him down we'll just shoot him one more time there's a hen another hen and do we hit another one looks like we hit another one got a bunch down just right there and that's just with the three shot 10 gauge you can really do some damage with the 12 gauge semi and the new shotgun there's a molting one that's one of their fur types just a uncommon looks really cool though and just set the time to whitetail drink time and for the whitetail lovers and great one grinders, you will not be disappointed in the amount of whitetail on this map. There are so many, as you can see. This is just one lake. And there's even more just all around it. Same with mule deer. There's a ton of mule deer on this map. I love the fact that you can find a ton of each of the species. You will not have trouble finding any at all, as you can see just loaded with whitetail make great one grinding a lot easier this will easily kill Layton as a map for me besides for moose this map is just loaded with whitetail and we're just at this lake right here and at mule deer drink time is just as loaded with mule deer and the best part with this map is that the drink times are I think three maybe four hours long see they drink from 8 to 11 30 so you got plenty of time to hunt them and same with the mule deer I think they are 1400 hours to 1730 and so you got plenty of time to hunt and grind both species of deer and every animal on this map you can actually take with starting equipment which is just shotguns for the small game and then the 243 for everything else it's the ultimate beginner map and now we'll go take a look at the multi mounts all right here we are in the lodge taking a look at the multi mounts I already set them all up as you can see there is a new pheasant one which involves two male pheasants and you can actually place them on these small round platforms which is just awesome that you can place multi mounts on them really like that so you can get extra variety out of your mounts there's a lot of different poses for these which aren't all the best for this because they can clip through the wall but just like that looks really cool those pheasants fighting and there's five new ones total and they all involve new species we have the javelina one right here one of my trolls I've had multiple trolls of these unfortunately and you can see the poses for them fighting each other looks really cool really like how that javelinas look and in the codex is what all the multi mounts look like there's a hot javelinas pair of predators I don't have a coyote to do that one rival rabbits fleeing pheasants and two turkey types which is the new Rio Grande turkey and Merriam turkey and I think that's all of them and I just placed my multi mount of the two turkey types with a melanistic Rio Grande and a light brown Merriam's you can see that looks really really cool and I think I had a rabbit one placed here we go you can see that it looks really cool all the multi mounts I really like shame there's not a new mule deer one that's the only thing that's missing in my opinion is a mule deer multi mount I really want one of those it's mule deer my favorite animal on this map for sure and I think that's all the multi mounts that I have set up. I don't have a coyote to place with this bobcat. 
but we'll get a Kai out eventually. I think that's going to be it for today's video. The release date as I'm recording this has not been announced yet. It should be announced the day that this video comes out. And if it is, I'll put it in the description. And I assume this map will be $7.99 US dollars like every other DLC map. And it's very worth it in my opinion. Easily my second favorite map. Silver Ridge Peaks only beats this map in species selection in my opinion. But this map is as good as it can get for it being a Mexico map. Such a cool map. Easily it will be my second favorite and will be playing it for quite a while. And I do already have all my hotspot maps made and ready to make, be made into videos. So if you have any questions about this map or hotspot map guide videos you want to see first, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.